The story of the PBY Catalina begins in the early 1930s with the U.S. Navy's need for a long-range flying boat. The changing landscape of naval warfare and global geopolitics called for an aircraft that could extend its reach across oceans. A competition was held, and Consolidated Aircraft's design stood out. The PBY Catalina was born. Its distinctive design, featuring a parasol wing and fuselage with a retractable landing gear, became a symbol of American ingenuity. It was designed to fly long distances, land on water, and perform a variety of roles. The Catalina's amphibious capabilities were groundbreaking. Its wingtip floats, retractable landing gear, and fuselage shape allowed for both water and land operations. This flexibility made it invaluable for maritime warfare and rescue missions. Over time, numerous variants were developed. From the original PBY-1 to later models with radar, increased armament, and better engines, the Catalina evolved to meet the changing demands of warfare. During World War II, the Catalina played a crucial role in anti-submarine warfare, its long endurance making it a natural hunter of enemy submarines. In the Pacific, Catalinas conducted reconnaissance, bombed enemy ships, and rescued downed pilots, proving to be a versatile asset in a challenging theater of war. Perhaps the most heartwarming role of the Catalina was its search and rescue missions. It saved thousands of lives, earning the nickname the Lifeboat among grateful sailors and airmen. The Catalina served with the navies and air forces of various allied nations, including the UK, Canada, Australia, and the Soviet Union. After World War II, the Catalina continued to serve, participating in missions during the Korean War and other Cold War conflicts. From daring rescues to critical intelligence missions, the Catalina's history is filled with intriguing tales of bravery, ingenuity, and resilience. The initial production models of the Catalina, ranging from PBY-1 to PBY-4, featured incremental improvements. The earliest versions laid the foundation with their innovative design, and each subsequent model introduced enhancements in range, payload, and aerodynamics. The PBY-5 marked a significant leap forward. It came with two variations, the PBY-5A with amphibious capabilities and the PBY-5B designed solely for water landings. This flexibility expanded the Catalina's operational roles, making it a valuable asset in various theaters of war. Later models, such as the PBY-6A, featured radar, turret modifications, and more powerful engines. Specialized variants were developed for anti-submarine warfare, nighttime operations, and other specific tasks. The adaptability of the Catalina's design allowed it to fulfill roles that extended well beyond its initial purpose. The Catalina's success led to production beyond U.S. shores. Licensed manufacturing occurred in Canada, the Soviet Union, and other countries. Each of these variants reflected the unique needs and adaptations required by different nations. After World War II, the need for military variants diminished, but the Catalina found new life in civilian roles. Various models were adapted for cargo transport, firefighting, passenger service, and more. The Catalina's inherent versatility allowed it to transcend its military roots and find relevance in peacetime. Today, many Catalinas are preserved in museums, while some continue to fly as part of historic fleets. The legacy of this aircraft, reflected in its numerous models and adaptations, is a testament to human ingenuity and the endless pursuit of innovation. Hey there! I just wanted to take a moment to thank you for watching and supporting this channel. You're amazing. I'd like to introduce you to Super Thanks. It's like a virtual tip jar, allowing you to support content you love, right here on YouTube. Your Super Thanks donation not only helps me create more awesome content, but also gets highlighted in the comments section. Just click on the Thanks button below this video and leave a small tip in your local currency. Let's grow together and thank you for being a super supporter. Now back to the video. The PBY Catalina's service with the Royal Air Force was instrumental in the Battle of the Atlantic. Tasked with long-range maritime patrols, RAF Catalinas were pivotal in protecting convoys from German U-boats. One of the most dramatic moments came in May 1941 when an RAF Catalina spotted the German battleship Bismarck. This discovery led to the subsequent pursuit and sinking of the formidable vessel, altering the naval balance in the Atlantic. The Catalina also served with distinction in the Royal Australian Air Force. It played a crucial role in anti-submarine warfare, mine-laying, and reconnaissance missions in the Pacific theater. 
Australian Catalinas carried out hazardous mine-laying operations, often flying at night deep into enemy territory. These missions, known as the suicide missions, were vital in disrupting Japanese shipping routes. Canada utilized the Catalina for coastal defense and air-sea rescue operations. Its vast coastline made the Catalina's capabilities invaluable. A famous rescue involved a Canadian Catalina crew, saving 11 downed airmen in treacherous North Atlantic waters. Despite heavy seas and freezing conditions, the crew completed the rescue, showcasing the Catalina's unmatched versatility. The Catalina service in the Soviet Union under the Lend-Lease program added a unique chapter to its history. The Soviets used them for anti-submarine warfare, transport, and even Arctic exploration. Under the Lend-Lease Act, the U.S. supplied the Soviet Union with Catalinas, recognizing their strategic value in the battle against the Axis powers. The Soviet Union used the Catalinas in the inhospitable Arctic conditions. These missions required extensive modifications to cope with the freezing environment and showcase the aircraft's adaptability. On the Eastern Front, the Catalinas performed reconnaissance, engaged in naval warfare, and conducted daring rescues. The Soviet airmen who flew them praised their reliability and capability. Sweden, a neutral country during World War II, operated Catalinas for coastal patrols and surveillance. The aircraft's endurance and versatility made it suitable for monitoring Sweden's extensive coastline. In Sweden, Catalinas were not only military assets, but also found roles in civilian sectors. Adapted for passenger transport and other peacetime operations, Swedish Catalinas showcased the adaptability of the aircraft. A dark chapter in the Catalinas Swedish service unfolded on June 16, 1952. A Swedish Air Force Catalina was involved in a search and rescue mission, looking for a missing Swedish reconnaissance aircraft that had been shot down earlier. During this mission, the Catalina itself was attacked by Soviet MiG-15s and subsequently shot down over international waters in the Baltic Sea. All crew members were rescued by a nearby German merchant ship, but the incident escalated tensions during the already fraught Cold War period. The incident prompted strong protests from the Swedish government and led to international condemnation of the Soviet action. It further exposed the volatility of international relations during the Cold War and added to the complexity of Sweden's neutral stance. The Catalina served in numerous other countries, including Brazil, New Zealand, France, whether in the tropical seas of the South Atlantic or the frozen lakes of Siberia, the Catalina adapted to the needs of the nations it served. After the war, many Catalinas found new life in civilian roles around the world, from firefighting in France to cargo transport in South America. Its enduring design continued to meet diverse challenges. The iconic Catalina played diverse roles that shaped military strategy and civilian life. From its enduring design to its service across different continents and cultural contexts, the Catalina's legacy lives on, a timeless symbol of aviation history that continues to inspire.